And that's Mr. Tan again from Fan Martial Arts, and I'm gonna go on a, this is a power generation video. Uh, about 10 years ago, Grandmaster Martin came back from a training camp in America, and he was explaining about uh, better hip movement. Now, we've always done hip movement before, but it's got a little bit more in depth, and uh, subsequently, it's something that's piqued my interest quite a lot. And now you're seeing a lot of other people in the industry doing it. Um, naturally anyway so anyway i'll show you what i mean now when people begin they usually just punch with their arms and then kick with their legs and they don't necessarily put anything into it so we encourage them to get body twists to drive more power in especially if you're a short person like yourself um now if i'm just moving my shoulders okay it's, it's okay okay I, i'm if my target was here and i was hitting it without moving my shoulders in there, but if I hit through, now I might, I've gone right through the target and I'll generate more power. Now, if I think about lower, okay, with my hips instead of just my shoulders, now the, you can generate even more power and then it will work its way down as well. So you're thinking about your hips, you think about your knees and you think about your ankles at the same time. Now, to make it simpler, okay, if I, is, when I throw, okay, uh, my, my cross uh, or, or even my jab, Okay. My my shoulders are moving and my hips are moving to 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 get that to, to work. But what if my hips move first, okay, and then my shoulder would move? So it would move like a wave. So from this position, if my hips forwards, okay, and then I, I send my my shoulder. Uh, so I go hip, and I go shoulder, and then hip goes back. It, my body moves like a wave. Boom. Well, if I go on this side, so I go hip first, and then I move my shoulder, boom. Uh, I'm generating power from down here, and then moving it up my body, uh, and then towards the target. Now you might think it's gonna take some time, but you, you already set stuff up. Uh, so say if I've, I've, I've parried the shot, now my hip, my, my get rid of my hip, boom, 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 boom. And there's my counter. Or I've thrown a jab beforehand, so if I have my guard, I'll try and do it at 45, so it's easy to see. Okay, I'll throw my hip first, okay, and then my, my shoulder's here, then my hip will happen, and then this cross is gonna be uh, shooting at me. Now you might be thinking, this is a bit of a tell where if your hips are moving first, but the, the speed that you're gonna be doing it, okay, you, you won't be able to see the, the, the tail straight away. It just, uh, it'll disguise itself naturally, especially because you're already distracting them with one before you send the other one. Have a little bit of a play with it and see if you can do it. It's a tricky concept to, to master the, the moving the hip before you move the shoulder. Boom, and then uh, if I move back just a little bit, you see it, if I move this hip forwards, okay, it's moved my knee. And then when I move it back when the shoulder's going, going here, my knee moves again. So the, the, the ground is now informing. So if I now move my ankle, okay, so as I move this, okay, move my hip forwards, my ankle goes down, okay, then I move my knee, okay, so it's, it's quite a lot to think about uh, if you break it down. So have fun, well, uh, trying to suss it out, and uh, later on, try it out on your training, see if you can generate more power, and see if you can get it to work quite pretty quick. I'm Mr. Tando, and I'll see you in the next video.